What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hello, how are you? Uh, I've got a Hendrix-inspired riff for you, and then a couple of really cool alternate chords that we can play instead of just the standard bar chord. I'm going to break it all down and explain it to you, and uh, I think you'll dig it. I think you're going to get something out of it. Okay, so first thing I want to show you is just kind of a rocking, uh, you know, heavy psychedelic rock blues vamp in E, you know, very Hendrixy, and it looks like this. So basically what I'm doing is I'm playing an E chord, and I think it's best to actually mute this G string here. Gives you a cleaner kind of power chord E. It's okay if that one gets in there. But I prefer it muted. It just gives you a cleaner, heavy rock sound when you're using distortion. So we're going ba, B. And so I'm using my pinky and I'm I'm pulling down on the third fret of the low E string here. On the next down strum, so down, up, down, up, down. So down, up, pull off, down. Then with my middle finger, I'm going to the G string on the second fret. And I'm bending it up a whole step, then letting it relax and pulling it off. So I'm going. Once I pull it off, I bring my middle finger to the second fret of the D string right there. And then I pull that off into the chord again. Lots of improvising can be done off of that concept, but that's your basic meat and potatoes of this E blues groove. Now when you're playing an E rock, E blues kind of thing, there are certain chords that you know just kind of go well in that vein, and one is G and A. And then another set is C up to D. G up to A 
here's something I want to show you though, a really cool concept, uh, especially when you're doing this E kind of rock thing. There's a really cool concept for the G and the A chord that you can play, um, little double stops. Uh, John Frusciante from Chili Peppers used this a lot as an influence. So watch this, instead of playing the full G chord, I'm gonna play the note on the A string and the note on the G string. And uh, it would be the fourth fret on the G string and it would be the uh, fifth fret on the A string. I'm gonna change my fingering now. I'm gonna use my middle finger on that fifth of the A and index on the fourth of the G. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my fingers here and maybe, you know, typically my middle finger is gonna mute that and then uh, my index and my middle finger are muting the rest of the string. So all we're hearing is that and that and then percussion with it. So all I'm hearing is the A string and the G string. Fifth fret, fourth fret. Okay? Now instead of the uh, regular A bar chord, we could do the same thing up a whole step. But what I want to do this time is add a little different movement and play this inverted A major, which I call the Hendrix major chord. But we're going to just play the same two strings. We're going to play, and just remember, you can play this instead of a regular A major chord or A major bar chord. Fourth fret on the A string, second fret on the G string, and then the, everything else is muted. So check it out when you put those together, it's a really interesting sound. Alright, and so then the other option, I have the C chord. And the D chord, what I'm going to do instead of those chords is I'm going to play a a C7 where I'm using just three notes. Third fret on the A, uh, second fret on the D, and third fret on the G. And I'm just doing all down chugs and then up a whole step to D7. 